Greetings, it's Saturday, May 29th, and we kind of had, had an extended away time here, uh, two weeks at least. Yep. Uh, last weekend we did housework. We had a lot of house cleaning to get done. We needed to catch up on that, so we decided to take last weekend off and got that done, got some yard work done, and uh, but we're back up here today. Um, if you recall, last last time we got the other wing finished as far as the fuel tank, uh, do, in, installing the fuel tank, and wing tips aren't done, but uh, got the wings up on the, the rack, and we're going to start on fuel tank this week. We'll see how far we get. Um, and at some point we have to engage some pro seal. Uh, that will happen after the... I gotta look at the instructions. I think it's after it gets installed in the wing, we have to pro seal the uh, between the fuel cap and the the wing skin. But anyways, that's that's coming down the road. But we're gonna get started. So I fabricated a uh, what do they call this? Guide. A guide. Hole guide. Drill hole no. saw guide. So uh, you can see I was a little bit off center on that one, but you find the center of this this hole from where they made the tank, um, or I don't know what I don't know what that hole. I guess I suppose they maybe Rand just put a hole in it to mark it, but that's that's where the fuel filler gas cap is going to go eventually. And what you do is you make a little drill guide here and uh, line it up. Line it up with that. Line it up on the on the centered up on that hole. Then you screw it down, and then we'll put this tank. We'll then go back in the wing, and we'll mark where the fuel filler hole is in the top skin. That'll mark on here. Then we find the exact center of that hole, and then this guide. This serves as a guide for the hole saw that we use when we actually cut the cut the filler or the. Ah, the gas cap uh, assembly uh, hole for. One of the other things you have to fabricate for this is a guide to drill the hole, the pilot hole, for the sight gauges for the fuel tanks. You can see the fuel tank. Oh, you can't see the fuel tank. Fuel tank is down inside of there. And so what we do is you take a one inch dowel, put a number 11 hole through the middle of it, and then you attach, just attach a piece of scrap aluminum on the end of it and put a number 11 through it just like that so then you can put that on there and that lines up the hole with the center of this one here and something else that I had to kind of fabricate up was where these um, fuel tank supports are in here when you go to put this rib on uh, the fuel tank supports want to be up against the skin and so it makes it kind of hard to you got to get those two apart to get the rib to fit in between them. So initially I had this piece of scrap aluminum, this real thick aluminum that I put just a little bit of a bend on and I can get that under the skin and lift up that fuel tank support. But then the problem is sometimes it's, if it's tight, um, it wants to bind up against the edge of the rib. So I made another one with a sharper edge on it. So I can put this under, I can pull the rib out just, just enough to pop that fuel tank support up and then push the rib back on there. So little things. I know there's a, I saw there's a, was it the string trick? Mm -hmm. You can put some string underneath those fuel supports and it pushes them away from the skin. Then you can put that on. Um, we might try that the next time we put this on, but I just kind of came up with this on the fly because we had already started to put this rib back on. Always, always drilled. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Yeah. That's a different. All do. It's a different way to that thing. 
Six there. Must be. Okay, we got our fuel, fuel, fuel. <laughs> let's, try, let's try this again. Okay, got our fuel tank cap guide, uh, hole guide in here now. And you can see we did get the center of it. Ended up being a little bit back from where we had put this in. So we got the center of this hole. And you can see, I'm not very good at coloring in the lines, as you can see here. My wife actually found the center and drew the line for that, so we have that reference on there. Um, we're going to now cut this out, and we're going to step drill. We've got this hole here, and we've got a hole down here, uh, and that's for the sight gauge for the fuel. So inside the airplane, when we get this done, there'll be a clear hose that goes from there to there and we'll be able to see how much gas is in the tank. Okay, got our holes put in the tank for the sight gauge there and fuel cap on the top. We haven't done the rear outlet yet. There's going to be a, there's an outlet. I can't remember if you put it on the side. I have to look at the book. It's either on the back or on the side. Um, we'll have to put a hole in there for that. We got this done. Uh, you saw you just used a standard three inch hole saw on this and measured that out. It's exactly three inches. And one thing I did was uh, use a deburring tool to just gently shave that plastic burr off of there. There's a little bit of a, there's a burr on it when you get done. It's where, the, cause that plastic melts when you're drilling or, you know, hole sawing through it, it gets hot and some of it can kind of get soft. We got that done, use this tool. I did use this, uh, oh, can't see it. Yeah, I did use this this more <laughs> angled. Whoa! It freaked out. It can't see it. That one. I use that tip on this deburring tool to get on the inside of this. Worked really well. Be really gentle with it because it that plastic peels right off. So when you hit this, what hit it with a deburring blade, it you don't want to gouge into it. So be be careful on that. Well, now that we have our hole drilled in the tank and cleaned up, deburred. Also, I vacuumed out the tank. I uh, got all the pieces of plastic out there, but we'll have to do that again because when we uh, drill drill the outlet hole for the tank, well, that'll get plastic back in the tank. So we'll have to go back in and vacuum all this out. By the way, I flipped the tank around because we wanted to have it in the same orientation as the wing so we didn't get confused. The other thing I did was once we drilled our uh, sight gauge holes I noted on the tank the inboard side and which way is forward so we will um, we're going to take this this fuel cap assembly here get it centered up on this on this hole where we have it marked and then we'll we'll put a mark on this cap or well I guess this ring and then we'll have a line we'll mark a line on this tank as well so that we have this so that when we put this back on, we can get it oriented right in the, the right spot. Then we have to take this middle piece out of, this is the retainer ring for the fuel cap. This is gonna go inside the tank on the bottom side and it's gonna sandwich the plastic tank in between these two parts here. So you have to take this piece out of the middle, like so, voila, magic. And then we'll clamp this to the bottom side of that, we'll transfer drill these these holes through there. After you clean. After we things. clean this up, yeah, we gotta file that off and get this, get it cleaned up, uh, get the rough edge off at D-Bird.
Okay, I just wanted to show show what we're doing here. Um, we did mark mark this. I I can you point that out where I got that? I was a little bit off center right there. on that first short mark. So what I did is I took the cap off and lined up this uh, how it is for front up. Oh, Top and bottom, I guess, as you're looking at it. So this laid in there. I got that lined up and aligned it with the outboard mark of the hole for the tank. So then we flipped this over and we put that retaining ring, we clamped the retaining ring on here and we're gonna transfer drill these holes here, those. Those are all gonna transfer drill number 11. Mm -hmm. And um, then after that, what are we doing after that? Well, at, at some point, we're going to end up, uh, we'll rivet a nut plate onto oh. this retainer ring because that's going to go on the inside of the tank, and yeah. this cap will screw down. After we drill these holes, and we take this off, put this on here, and drill the holes. Oh, on. yeah, then we got, yeah, got to match drill those. All right. We're done for the day up here and we got this fuel cap countersunk ready to go. We've got this uh, retainer ring ready to go and for those of you that are building you might have if you've already been here you may have cringed when you saw me do it. We got a little whoopsie today. Uh, we I drilled this tank there this hole in the tank and that is for the fuel vent the fuel vent will be right here and the whoopsie is you're not supposed to drill this hole until after you leak test the tank because this is a vent hole so uh, we're gonna have to figure something out to plug that hole while we um, for when we leak test the tank so I'll think about that. I'll think if you have any ideas of what to, I could just, I don't know if I could just fill something in there. I could probably just put some silicone in there or something. I bet you that would work. We could probably just get some clear silicone. You think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could probably just put some, some silicone in there just to, just to put a plug in there so that when we leak test it, it'll, it won't be leaking air past that. And then last thing you do is, is uh, before you put that vent in, uh, you'll drill, we'll drill through that, we'll drill that back out. So then we'll have to get in there and clean that, uh, clean that piece of silicone out of there. So that's probably what we'll do for that. But, uh, bless you. So uh, that's what we got done. 
got that far, got uh, the holes for the tank drilled, we got this done, got that done, we got the, that's on the other side, sight gauge, holes for the sight gauges uh, drilled out, step drilled out, what else did we do? That's about it, it was all, it was all tank work today. Well, glad to be back at it, and hopefully we'll be back up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We will. We will be back up tomorrow. Uh, continue on this journey here. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If, uh, if you're liking the videos, give me a thumbs up. And always, as always, uh, questions, comments, suggestions are welcome. And um, that's it for now.